Hey, good morning. This is Mark Sampson, and um, I want to wish you a happy 4th this coming weekend. But I want to let you know, too, that we're having a workshop here uh, next Wednesday, and we've got some pretty exciting things. I'm going to go through a few of them for you, and we're going to be basically answering, hopefully answering, and, and proposing a lot of questions that make you stop and think. The first one is, you know, why real estate? Why are we in real estate? In my book, we're in real estate because of we want everyone wants a better future. And as a better future, it's going to work itself and dovetail into the basic fundamentals of, of who we are, what we do into time, money, and security. So based upon that, how will we do it? How is this going to happen? What are we going to do to make this happen? And where will you start? Well, basically, we're going to start by joining some sort of a real estate firm that we have confidence in and that we feel that is going to answer the question of how I'm going to get to that better life. So we have choices of brands, boutique, and franchises. But you know, it looks like an umbrella, and it is somewhat of an umbrella. But where are you in the process? Again, in my opinion, we are the thing at the bottom of the umbrella holding it up. We're the stick. We're the foundation of that firm. It's all about who we are, what we do, our motivation, our skill sets, and our knowledge. The most important thing, obviously, is are we a person who is willing to take action to get where we want to go? But in the process, there's a lot of questions and orientation that basically needs understanding. And in a historical overview or perspective of our industry, we have a sales style of what we call overcoming objections. Today, we still use it. Ben Franklin, if I could, would you? If we had an objection, we would answer it. But it's always all about objections. And today, some of us are still using it. But it's a defensive position. And as a result of being a defensive position, it means that we fall into a low profile of income. Then we had the, what we call the consultative approach. Consultative, consultative approach was basically the advent of the feature advantage benefit process that we used in that. And we still added overcoming objections. That is today a medium income level. We're going to embark on answers and questions and who we are, where we are, and where do we, we begin with what we call the entrepreneurial approach to the selling style of real estate of the future. That being practiced today is considered in the top 5% of the agent echelon. We have to sophisticate our skill sets. We need a what we call a sequential business model or sequential approach to achieving that. And we have to object, answer the objections before they pop up in the process. We're going to try to answer a lot of questions you might have about this. So let's take a look at who we are as a person, physically, mentally, inside, outside. But here again, it's all about mindset and how you're going to approach the questions that we have. And so basically, here comes the first of the questions. Do you struggle with what you need to do? Do you struggle with what you need to say? Do you struggle to who do you listen to? Do you struggle with when and how to move forward? And of course, are you at odds in the real estate industry or with the real estate industry and also with the broker and also with your colleagues? Over what, you might ask? Well, it all comes down to what are we producing in terms of repeatable results? How do we achieve those results? We see other people doing, doing it, and I'm sure that we're going to ask ourselves the question, why can't I? I should be able to, and you should. There's absolutely no question in the world if you have the right sense of direction, the hand on your shoulder, the ability to get your questions answered when, if, and when, and let's move forward. So today's questions basically are you unclear about what you're supposed to be doing? Where will you start? What do you focus on? How do I know it's the right thing to do? Will I screw up my business in the process? 
I think we all have a little bit of fear about that. Well, what if? And will I starve in the process? Makes sense. If you give up one thing and you start something else, is it the right thing to do? And will it cost you? But you basically have these questions applied to the silos of income as to what you're supposed to be doing. Your marketing, prospecting, how you're going to approach and how you're going to handle the internet, the follow-up, which is where the consumers lie, where are they at, where's the current ones, where's the long range ones. What your farming is, are you going to farm in your sphere, are you going to do a geographical farm, and what about referrals and how are you going to handle them. All things that we will be discussing at our workshop on Wednesday. So, that brings us to the end and why we're filming, filming this and why we're going to spread it out to the people in the industry because I think it's something that everybody ought to know. There shouldn't be this 95-5 ratio continuing over and over and over again because, and I can tell you why it happens, because the training hasn't advanced to where it should. And in my opinion, our training is way out there, way ahead of it. We've been told that, we're very good at it, and we're gonna invite you. Next Wednesday, July 6, 10 to 12, 433 via Corda and PVE. Don't be bashful, we're not gonna bite. And we want, you to, we want you to help enjoy and get the benefits of the workshop. Have a great 4th of July. Hope to see you next Wednesday.